I start by describing a single day in May, Alchi, just weeks before you came to us from the orphanage. Because that is a story you can see with your own eyes, bring your own intelligence to bear upon. As you soon will, the specimens glued to the pins behind my father's glasses. As you will, the discovery sure to come and the unpredictable events, wars and floods and plagues and births and deaths and unwanted excitations of the heart that will inevitably sweep you up without asking and, as often, without warning, let you drop. There is no doubt about it. The world transmutes us and we it from the day we first draw breath, perhaps even before that. None, not a one of us is spared. We do not leave the world as we came into it. But how and why we are changed, that is given to each of us alone, woman as well as man, to decipher and to pass on in whatever form we can. My father does so through his letters to the gentlemen amateurs, still written in the only languages he's mastered, his lenses and his lowly nether Dutch. And I do so now in words that last no longer than the mist on the apologist's bird, unless they are gathered like breath into the heart and imagination of someone hungry for them, fed as fully by what the eye can't verify as by what it can't.